All right, here we go. I'll close this diagonal. That really looks fine. Um, sure, let's play a rook over here. Bishop up. And how do I want to deal with that? Okay, let's get the king out. And over again. And so far this king doesn't look too vulnerable. Um, let's protect our head of the bishop. And start to make threats against the king. If we're crazy. Okay, the bishop's head is a nice target to aim at. Uh, usually. Let's first restrict this bishop. Oh, I see. I've allowed them to do this shape. I knew that. Um... All right, let me just build my castle, because I've not successfully pulled off any kind of a quick attack at all. Um, so at least I have a solid castle. Right, I was somewhat afraid of that. I think this is the right way to pursue in this case. I think I'm supposed to open my bishop. I'm not fully sure. We'll find out, won't we? Welcome. Mm -hmm. So, let's play our rook over. I think is reasonable here. Um, originally, I planned to play down the third file, and maybe I should have stuck with that plan. I really don't know. Um, this looks interesting, too. And we can protect on this side a little bit. think this is a reasonable try here too. Since they've played the shape, I think I can react this way. We've got some hybrid like Anaguma, but not quite because this side of the castle is lifted up a little bit. Ah, perfect balance in the force. Well, we'll see how long that can last, eh? Oh, right. Duh, there's one other thing I should be aiming for here. Well, 
Well, normally I should be aiming for it and then be pushing my edge pawn toward their castle. But here, maybe that's not the best idea. It's almost always a good idea. But I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot to read, and I'm playing a bit too anxiously. See, this is like a case of Curiosity Killed the Cat, where I played a lot of curious moves. And I'm pretty sure I'm not surviving this. Um... Hmm. Yeah, the more I look, the less I like my position. <laughs> oh my, so... Yeah, if they push this, I could take the bishop. I could take the pawn, but probably not. I mean, taking the pawn's the way to try to win a pawn here. Um... Which might not be a good idea. Oh my. So. Um. Yeah, this looks painful. Well, there's seemingly one way to make this interesting. Um, this looks interesting to me. I can't put my finger exactly on why. But, um, like, okay, yeah, I have this very temporary attack here. Very, very temporary. And I spent time looking for, like, their counterattack. And somehow, I think my attack is decently strong here, actually. <laughs> Just get a repetition. Well, there's not a way to do that. So, we have to play this instead. Yeah, my everything is hanging. So what's new? Right, that's how we play. Um, perhaps not the smartest way to play against Anaguma Castle. Uh, probably against Anaguma, you're not supposed to hang everything. But, yeah.
Okay, it's a reasonable defensive move. Um... Hmm. Well, this is weird. And what's especially weird is probably my next move. <laughs> we got a direct line to the king. Let's try to enjoy it. Um. Hmm. I mean, alternatively, maybe I'm supposed to drop the bishop, sack it for the silver, rook takes, knight takes pawn, the rook moves, and somehow pursue an attack, but... I think this is clearer. Um, that said, there's not anything clear about this. But yeah, alternatives where I just take the pawn don't seem particularly bright. Oh, they're going to drop this anyway? That's interesting. I wonder why. I don't understand. Or they're just touching the bishop to see if I have a reaction. But no, I thought I looked at bishop drops. Um, yeah, I'm reminded of a tactic the, we saw on Lee Chess the other day, where Scrabble expert um, accidentally thought they were hanging their queen, but it wasn't actually hanging. So it's pretty funny. Um, okay, so... Now there might be some threat for them to drop their bishop. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm safe, though. Let's make use of our silver. There is a subtle point to this. So the point is, I think I can still collect the pawn when I want it. I think things so far are under control. I could be very, very mistaken, but I think things are under control. Would we recommend that other follow these footsteps? Well, only if they work. And if they don't work, then I would not recommend them. <laughs> so, um, do they work? We'll find out. It's really spooky. So yeah, I mean, even if the pawn's here, or if it's pushed one, I don't think that makes any difference as to whether I can take the pawn. I don't know if I have any impetus to take it, but as for whether I can take it, um, I don't think its location matters too much. Yeah, this is going to be a mess and a half. Because I control a lot of squares right now. And it's not super easy for my opponent to regain control of that which they've lost. But 
if they do regain control, I am screwed. So, yeah. We'll just have to play our best and see how things go. But yeah, note to self, in general, push on the edge file. I should prefer pushing on the edge to pushing in the center. Um, cause yeah, the edge is normally the easier target. In this game, that might not be the case, but in most cases, yeah, it's, I've made things more difficult for myself. They're hovering over the bishop again, but there's only one square to expect them to drop it on. Um, and that's the square. But I can exchange bishops here and then redrop my bishop to target this 5-5 five five square. If I want to drop it to retarget that, I think I do. I'm not sure. Um... Hmm, that's interesting. I think, yeah, I have to take this. And then my next move's not super obvious, but I think it's rook takes pawn. I think that's the safest move I have here. So let's activate our Rook. At first glance, this looks kind of scary. Um, and maybe it's scarier than I recognize. I don't know. But I have to activate my pieces somehow. And this is one way forward. Uh, I can see when they've clicked on a piece. I can see what they've clicked on. So if they click on the bishop, I can see that they're considering dropping the bishop. This is different than other game servers where you can only see the move after it's been fully executed. Um, it's an interesting concept. It really gives you a sense of connection with the opponent. At least if they spend any time to execute the move. Also, I wonder if it only works that way in the browser and not in the app. Because I've seen some moves where it looks like the piece move instantly without any sort of um, click-click action. But yeah, I'm not sure. So my subtle point here is twofold. One, I think I've got everything just barely covered. And two, if they try the obvious attack over here, I can uh, do the obvious retort. So, which I think, I'm not totally sure, but I think it's okay. Um, I mean, they could drop here, I guess, but that'd be risky. Yeah, because then I just attack here. Um, hmm. Yeah, so this is another thought. I hadn't thought as much about this one. I mean, it's two different thoughts about, like, places that could go. I've, part of the reason I lifted this was to try to protect my knight's head. Um, which I think I've got covered. So, what's the big 
trick here or threat here. I don't know. Um, man, there's so many fun but not quite legal moves here. Um, so if I don't take this, they take, I take, they have some way to attack my rook and then promote. So if I do take, um, that creates an escape path for them. Interesting. All right. So what do we do now? Hmm, maybe I don't concern myself too much with, well, yeah, there's a, an issue there for sure. Um, hmm. This is unpleasant at best, but probably not even that good. Okay, I think I'm fine. It's not super clear, but again, we're going to put our bishop somewhere useful. Because I don't have any bishop fork threats. So we'll just play simply and strongly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on chess base, when you play either online or offline, I think you can get a virtual opponent like the Mechanical Turk, and you can see like an entire avatar playing against you. It like makes facial gestures or whatever. I don't remember. But chess base, uh, yeah, they made this mechanical Turk avatar, which is hilarious. Oh, right. My position's not quite as solid as I thought it was. Um, hmm. Namely, my rook is not defended. Well, hmm. There's only one file I can drop my pawn on. Do I drop it? I guess. If I drop it, then, I mean, they have a response. Um, I could pull back the rook, which is really scary. I could defend the rook with the pawn. It's not a terrible notion. No, it doesn't help me. Um, hmm. Oh, I could defend my rook. It's tricky, but probably best. Yeah, let's defend the rook. And I don't see anything crumbling immediately. Let's try it. If 
これより秒読みに入ります。So I would have preferred to have a more solid position, but I don't play in ways that tend to result in solid positions. So that's my fault.、Um, yeah. This is not easy to hold together. There might not be any way to save it.、Um, Oh, right. They can attack this directly, can't they?、Um, mm In my extremely wild imagination, this looked okay.、Um, as I'm looking at it now, it doesn't look so simple. Yeah, there's one obvious problem with my most recent move, and that's that I had intended rook takes pawn next, which doesn't quite work.、Um, that's kind of a problem.、Hmm. This is why I should have pushed my edge pawn earlier. Alright. Well, let's get our knight moved out of harm's way. Which doesn't really solve the problem, but we can pretend it does until it's too late. Well, there are some attacking ideas here. They have a little bit of promise.
Huh. That's not where I expected that piece to go. Might be better, might be worse. Um... Yeah, I think that's just surprising. Let's try to calm the position a little bit. I know it's too late to fully calm things, but... Oh. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not surviving this, but I'm stubborn, so let's find out. If you ignore a problem, does it exist? That's a good question. I think there's only one way for us to find out. So let's find out. Well, we got a rook. Hooray. It's just what we always dreamed of. <sighs> um, yeah, I think I was even more dead than this earlier, but I'm mostly dead here. Hmm. Sanjuvio. Hmm. Yep. All right. So how can I attack from here? Well, there is one way. And since there is one way, that's got to be the way to attack. Um, I wonder if we're going to see the same tactic crop up twice here. Oh, dear. Actually, that's... This is worse than I imagined. Um... Hmm. So... Yeah, my everything is hanging. Which is a bit less than ideal. Um, oh, actually, maybe I'm surviving by the narrowest of margins. Maybe. It's not looking likely. Uh, no, I need another tempo. I don't have another tempo. I need one, though. So it's gotta be this. Weird. Uh, that 
doesn't look right. Am I made it here? Because if that doesn't mate, then there almost certainly was something stronger. I'm confused. Let's try this. Um, I get that this is a strong attack. I just think there were perhaps even stronger attacks available. That's what I'm kind of bewildered by. Is like seemingly I'm living here for at least one more move. Um, and that seems kind of relevant at a time where otherwise I'd be dead. Um. Mm -hmm. Sanju I mean, yeah, the speed of my attack certainly comes into question, but um, yeah, this is bizarre. I mean, I'm playing with fire, yeah, but I don't see anything that kills me right away. Oh, yeah, no, um, yeah, I got today's day in Advent of Code. It was, I mean, I knew how to do it from the outset. The implementation Thank details you. were so numerous. Mm-hmm. I half expected this move. I mean, that's a really bold, bold capture there. So, one of us is mistaken. 
Oh my. Um. It's probably me. All right, what have I missed? I mean, this is complicated, sure. So if I go down, it's mate in one. If I go up, am I mated? I don't see it. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Yeah, I guess he's got it. Um, all right, good game. Cool. Yeah. All right. Wow. That was quite a game. Um, how do we want to review this? How much do we want to review it? But also, how do we want to review it? I don't know. Uh, I mean, usually start review from the beginning. Um, so I guess we start there. Yeah, that was not the world's most obvious Suma. Um, so we played some good opening moves. I'm never sure about when exactly to play this here, when to play this. Um, hmm. Ah, you can hear me now again. Okay, yeah, maybe I put this on the big board. I don't know if it's... I mean, for everybody else, it's more convenient that we chat in Twitch. So I could just chat about it. Yeah. So, I never know, like... I guess this very quick... I mean, this shape. 
This is like Rapid Yagara or something? I'm not sure. Or Left Mino. But it went into Anaguma. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how and when to strike against this. Ultimately, I played my King's Knight forward, which is a terrible idea. Uh, this so far is just boat. Okay. Yes, this is still boat castle. And now it's switching to Anaguma castle. Yeah, interesting. Um, so I think it's fine that I play this. This might be a bit premature, this trying to exchange bishops or use my bishop. Okay, so moving my knight up is not so bad. That's good to know. Um, yeah, because you would never pushed this or this, I was unsure how to react to this opening. Um, so that I did, I did my normal, just find any attacks I can on the king side, and, um, that didn't work here. So I probably need to, like, oops, that's not how that moves. I probably need to, like, solidify my castle a bit. Um, but also not, like, allow a bishop drop on the left side of the board. I don't know how to arrange that. So it's probably... I should do this first, and then this, and the knight up, and then, like, silver crown and stuff. Um, I probably should do something more like that, and less like what I did. I can either attack or solidify. Yeah, and... I hedged between the two, and I always hedge, and I'm never really sure what to do. And it always gets me in trouble when I try to do both at the same time. But I end up doing both at the same time quite a bit, and this provokes an attack from my opponent. Um, yeah. Yeah, my attack slowed down. So I thought moving the knight out was great. I thought it was just brilliant. Um, this bishop drop, I don't know. I have no idea how to play this. Um, so, in the heat of the moment, I thought that this was going to be a hit by that, but I forgot that I have this covered. So, probably I should just take the pawn. Um, probably I'm okay there, but also I was concerned about this, but I forgot I had this available. So, yeah, I think I just take the pawn here. Uh, I mean, the gold back is a very strong move. I just did not expect it. Uh, I had, was very stunned. Um, does the gold want to be on 7-8? Probably not. I can never figure this stuff out. Um, the plus of having the gold here on 7-8 is it's very difficult for the opponent to get away with the bishop drop or to break through on the 8th file. Um, yeah, let me see. So we're in this variation here. Yeah, let me hand over control so we can look at this together. Uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, thanks. Um, Yeah, so I guess there's two different ways you could play there. You could either recapture with the gold or recapture with the knight. Um, yeah, the computer prefers the knight capture, surprising. Well, I think the deal here is that somehow... Um, it looks very unlikely that I'm going to get a rook exchange in the short-term future. Um, and if I can't exchange the rook, it's going to be difficult for me to attack with a rook drop on your back row. So it makes some sense to make use of the knight. Uh, the other factor is that eventually this, if I do get a bishop on this open diagonal, that could be scary. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think... I think, I'm in theory, I'm supposed to have my rook owning this fourth file, and 
In theory, maybe your rook ends up owning the third file. I don't know. Yeah, this is curious. There's a lot to figure out. Damn those computers and their infinite knowledge. <laughs> um, but yeah, this um, was clever that you were able to open this diagonal one move before I thought you could because this really caught me off guard. Um, so, yeah, then we had this exchange, and yeah, I just confused the heck out of myself this entire game. And now we are in the post-mortem, and I have to, like, pretend what I did made sense somehow. Okay... So, oh, right, so this is possible. Yeah, um, I was thinking about this. Um, maybe this is best, because it's quite forceful. Hmm, I mean, this occurred to me after I moved. Um, yeah, and then this and then that, and I was afraid that somehow... I was in more danger than you were, but I'm threatening a knight and a lance. Yeah. So, yeah, my silver's loose. It's hard to know. Yeah. I mean, what can we make of this? Let me check what the comment is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, minus 150, but better than the previous variation. I see. So I've gotten a bad position, and I've failed to play this, which would have held my losses at minus 150. Yeah. I see. No, that's fine. It's really difficult for somebody analyzing the game to like relay their comments through Twitch and uh, the moves on the board. It's it's very difficult to remember to do that. So most of the time I don't require it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think you're right that that would have kept my losses at a minimum. Um, I wasn't happy or satisfied with that, so I played as aggressively as I could here, but that got me in a great deal of trouble. Huh. Knight takes. Interesting. I mean... So, I saw this too. Um... And I didn't think this is a good position for me, even after, like, say we do this bishop drop and this. I didn't see how this could result in anything positive. Um, I mean, yeah, I got my bishop dropped, but... Oh, I completely missed this move. Yeah, goodness, I just saw that right now. Okay. Yeah, actually, that's... Wow. Um, yeah. So this would win a silver for a knight. Yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. So instead, yeah, you wouldn't give up the silver for the knight. Or this is another option, but... Um, this ends up trapping the rook. And it's just a question of what you prefer. But then the knight's trapped, too. So I've given them both bishops, but... Um, yeah, I'm surviving here. I see. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, this knight advance would have been fine. And maybe the best way for me to get a bishop promotion. Uh, yeah. Or, I mean, you said the other line was better, um, but this is perhaps also playable. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at forks like this. This is the sort of reason why this kind of answers other folks' questions, that my gold really doesn't belong on 7-8. And by putting the gold on 7-8, it means none of my attacks ever work out without me getting severely counterattacked. Um, so, yeah. Whereas if I had my gold, say, on 5-8 or on 4-7 or somewhere else, these tactics just would not be here. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I, was, I saw that all my attacks here were slow. Although they're faster than I thought, but they're still quite slow. And yours are faster than mine. So there were better ways for me to defend my position that was bad instead of making it worse. But I proceeded to make my position worse and worse each move and got crushed. So, yeah, my rooks, I mean, if I could get all those other pieces off the fourth file, then maybe I'm threatening rook to 4-1. Maybe. But, yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Um... But I, since, I don't know, I had the sense that my rook wasn't really doing very much, and I couldn't find any way to improve it. Uh, so I stuck to what I knew here, which is that having this bishop aiming toward the king and trying to limit the scope of your rook felt like a good thing to do. Um, but it eventually led to that tactic where you were able to promote your bishop, and I can't stop your bishop from promoting here. But also, like, this pawn advance threatens a future pawn drop on the knight's head. Not necessarily right now, but later on, my castle will be severely weakened if I end up taking this pawn. Um, so, yeah, I am very much in the passenger seat here. And it's just hard to find anything constructive to do. Yeah, even again. <laughs> uh, on 46, your other idea is better. Yeah. Well, I mean, irrespective of what the engine says, I mean, that engine's going to be like, oh yeah, Santa plays perfectly, Santa's fine. If Gota plays perfectly, it's, you know, it's even. Um, yeah. That's interesting. And I guess the notion here is if I retreat, um, is there something I've missed? Probably. I mean, eventually in the game I did miss a pawn drop separating my rook and um, silver. It was painful when that happened. Um, I'm not seeing whether or not that works here the same way. Or if there's something else. Wow. Okay. Wow, that really says that my uh, position is not threatening anything if this is playable. Um, yeah. Jeez. That hurts. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to find things to do here. Yeah. Let's see. Sorry. I know it's tricky to, like, keep track of stuff. Yeah, it's nothing too bad. I just want a better position. So, yeah, it's tricky. Um... But I can't get a better position if I can't first, like, settle on equality or something. I don't know. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's just... Santa should have better than this. Yeah.
Yeah. I thought about this pawn drop as well, because this is probably my last chance to do it. Um, uh, so, yeah, after this, gold takes... Um, hmm. So... Yeah, I had two minds about this. Oh, okay, yeah, that was the first move I thought about. Hmm. I wonder what this does, though. Is there some latent threat here? Um. Oh, he's suggesting... The gold can just take this. Okay. Um, I suppose I take here. Oh, my rook's not defended. Oh, right. That is an issue. Sorry. Um, yeah, I have to take this way, don't I? Yeah. Then we recapture like the us, and we might have some initiative, but I don't have a dragon. Oh, what's this? Okay. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's rough. It's this way I'm losing a gold, which is another reason not to have the gold out there. <laughs> ah, but also my knight's head is vulnerable, and I don't have a terrific attack at the moment. Yeah, that's rough. So, yeah, the more and more I looked at these lines, um, I didn't find these. These weren't better for me, at least. They might be okay. Um... But yeah, like you mentioned, we're around minus 300 already. Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, don't even need to do that. Yeah, it's just, it just feels bad. Yeah, because I got the loose rook, and my knight's exposed, and my gold's exposed. Nothing's defending these. I don't have a counterattack on the left side of the board. And my king's kind of vulnerable. So, like, between all these considerations, it's not super great. Um... So yeah, the, the shape of this game is just a general trend toward um, me giving more and more ground. Um, yeah. So. I'm not sure if I could... Well, yeah, like you point out, there were ways I could have started attacks instead of having basically what this ended up being. I did defend okay, but my attack could have been a lot better. <laughs> oh, this, yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm trying to, like, win the game right out of the opening. It's just not smart. Um, so, yeah, if I get a position and it's worse... I'm not accepting that it's worse. I'm just continuing to do as crazy moves as I can think of. Yeah, this is the move that concerned me the most. And, like, here... I don't know what I was going to do. I was thinking about just, like, pawn drop up here. To try to, like, get out of this before... Um, I don't know. Yeah. So I have a... When I get a bad position, I tend to play extremely dangerous moves and make it a lot worse. But sometimes I play dangerous moves and it works out. But yeah, against good play, like dangerous moves aren't going to do a whole lot. Yeah, and then I have to like pull back and like I just get killed. So. Yeah. Yeah. My attack 
I mean, this is the problem, is that unless... <laughs> yeah, it's really, really difficult to get a forcing attack. And often against uh, Q and Wondon players, I can just bully my way through it. Um, yeah, well... So... Okay, yeah, I think you're right that that pawn drop is actually good here for Gota. A minute ago I was thinking I was surviving this better than... Well, yeah, this is actually livable. Never mind. So a lot of the time I can get away with bullying because the tactics are just difficult to discover. Um, but, yeah, when I don't have a forcing attack... When players have time to think about all the moves, um, it's, yeah, my attacks don't work out so well. So I was thinking this might be playable, but yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Your king is way safer than mine is, or could ever be here. Um, so I'm playing with fire. I'm hoping to get fortunate. Uh, it seems... I don't know. It's not easy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to like, say in the post-mortem. Other than... Like, there are a lot of variations, and it got complicated, but... It's... Like, the engine agrees with a lot, but not all of your moves. It disagrees with a lot, but not all of mine. Um, so, I wish I knew better what I were doing, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is a very nice attack here. It's like, my attack is just a... My attack is many moves too slow. It's not forcing at all. So, yeah, if I try to collect this bishop, that doesn't quite work. If I try other things, I'm losing the silver. Um, yeah, so it's a nice, powerful pawn drop there. And, yeah, this is... My position's just loose all over. So... Earlier I should have pushed on this edge, and I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I guess toward the end, um, I almost, like, yeah, I almost managed to survive that. And had I survived, I, my attack would have been good, but... Um, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I guess you're right, this pawn drop is not smart. Because I don't have anywhere near enough to follow it up with, like, another knight, another silver, another something, so dropping it up here is a bit crazy. Um, yeah, so that's a very good point. Um, so, yeah, if I bring the rook back, I get pawn dropped, I lose my silver... If I bring my gold up, I mean, that might be the lesser of all evils here, but I still don't like my position. But uh, I just have to get over it. Um, so, probably have to do something like this, probably allow something like that, and just suffer. Now that's, like, assuming there isn't some even stronger reply here. And there could be. Because my rook's loose, like, my knight's loose, everything I have is loose here. And I can't exactly, like, put more pawns on my king's side. Um, so, yeah, I just... As good as I am at using my rook sometimes, I don't know how to use my bishop at all. 
It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it this move or some other one? I thought this might have been very powerful. Um... Oh, this is mate, isn't it? Because if I take, if you take, if I take, we have this check. And that seems to be mate. Um, hmm. I mean, it's extremely dangerous at best, but like, probably I'm just mated. I don't know. Perhaps I got something wrong here. Um, hmm. Like, what would the next move be? Yeah, I thought the bishop move was fine, but maybe there is a mate here. Okay. Um, hmm. oh, okay, wow, I didn't see that, but yeah, that's cool, nice, so yeah, um, I guess I have to run, but, oh, I still get mated here, yeah, okay, I see. So my king is just like a sitting duck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that would have been a really nice, easy win there. I've never seen this dragon and bishop combination, but usually it's... The reason for that is probably because most Senta players have common sense not to abandon their king. Um, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult dealing with time pressure. It really is. Alright, so that would have been awesome. Um, yeah, let's see. Aside from that, yeah, in this endgame, I mean, I thought this was... The silver drop was kind of... I didn't expect that, but... I guess it's probably best. And the idea is that taking the gold here isn't quite mate, so you have to do this instead. And here, I thought I was winning, and I was mistaken. So, yeah, I have to just play some defensive try. Or maybe it's not so terrible. But the way I followed this up was irresponsible. Um... So maybe something like this holds better, but maybe not completely holding. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, good game. Yeah, it's an exciting game. So, yeah. In the end, checkmate's what counts, and we found it. <laughs> um... Yeah. Yeah, so I was expecting that, and somehow... Oh, goodness, wow. I thought I was going to be able to block this check. But bishop takes, um, and my other gold is pinned. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I'll do well to learn from that one. Uh, yeah. So... My defense was far too slow here in several different ways. That's amazing. Um, okay, well. Well, thanks for the game. Yeah, and I guess uh, best of luck in future tournaments and teaching letters and whatever. I know this is just a practice game. Yeah, it's easier to find Suma when there's lots and lots of Suma available to select from. To think I almost survived this, but no, nope, you found one, and all you have to find is one. All right. Whoa.
that was a good practice game. So hope we all enjoyed this.